Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we're looking at the 6th grade concept of a triangle and how we can determine the sum of the angles in a triangle. We'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So when we are looking at a triangle, whether it be an equilateral triangle or whether it be a right triangle, we need to remember that the sum of the angles in any triangle, doesn't matter what kind of triangle we're looking at, is 180 degrees. An easy way to keep that in mind is to think of a square. A square is made of four right angles. So four right angles is going to be four times 90 degrees. And so that's going to make 360. And the reason why we keep a square in mind is because a square or even a rectangle can always be cut diagonally into two triangles. So if we take that 360 and divide it by two, you're going to get your 180. So if you Forget how many degrees are in the sum of the angles of a triangle. Just think of a square, 360, and cut it in half. Now, when we're looking at various triangles, typically the problems we're going to get are going to give us two of the angles, and they're going to ask us for the measurement of the third angle. So here's an example of what you might get. You might get a triangle. This is an obtuse scalene triangle, and they give you two of the measurements. The larger angle is 125 degrees, and one of the smaller angles is 30 degrees. So we're looking for the measurement of this angle right here. So what we need to do is we need to add up the two angles that we already know, the 125 and the 30. And so that's going to get us 155. And remember, the sum of the angles of any triangle is going to be 180. So we're going to subtract the 155 from our 180, and we are going to get 25 degrees. So you can say with confidence that this smaller angle here is 25 degrees. Sometimes you'll be given a triangle like this, and it will simply give you a description of the triangle. It will say it is a right isosceles triangle, and it will ask you what is the measurement of one of these angles here. And you might be thinking, well, I can't figure that out if I don't know the measurement of the other angle. But this right lets us know that this is a 90 degree angle. But this isosceles also tells us something. Remember, an isosceles triangle has two sides that are the same length. So in this case, it is this side and this side are the same length. But there is a relationship between the side length and the measurement of the angle. If there are two side lengths that are the exact same length, then there are also going to be two angles that have the exact same measurement. And those are the angles opposite those side lengths. So this side length right here goes to this angle right here, and this side length goes to this angle, the one we're looking for. And these two are going to be equal. So what that means is we have a 90 degree angle, and then we have another two angles that are equal because of the isosceles triangle. And so if we take our 180 degrees, that is the sum of any triangle, take away the 90 that we already know is in our right angle, that leaves us 90 degrees. And we know this 90 degrees is going to have to be split evenly between these two angles because it is an isosceles triangle. So if we take our 90 and we cut it in half, we are going to get 45 degrees. So with an right isosceles triangle, both of these small angles here are going to be 45 degrees. Finally, you might also get a triangle that has no measurements at all, and your teacher or the book might ask you, what is the measurement of this angle? And if the only thing you have is a description of the triangle, and that being an equilateral triangle, you actually have a pretty simple problem. Because remember, an equilateral triangle means that all three side lengths are the exact same length. But remember that each side length is directly related to the angle that it's opposite. So if all three side lengths are the exact same length, that means all three angles in an equilateral triangle, including the one we're looking for, are going to be exactly equal. So if we have our 180 degrees and we have three angles and they're all equal, that simply means we're going to take our 180 and we're going to divide it by three so that each angle is going to be 60 degrees because 60 times three is going to be 180 degrees. So remember that the sum of the angles in any triangle, whether it be right, isosceles, or equilateral, is always going to be 180 degrees.